This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Coming up in the news, the 100 Students Mission Movement comes to our shores, pastor installed in South Andrews District, and local students takes the health message to his hometown. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. This is your Adventist News. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm Adriel Hepburn. It is great to be back with you to share some of the events that have been happening within the South Bahamas Conference. From August 7th to 22nd, the South Bahamas Conference will host the Inter-American Division Adventist Mission Department project called 100 Students Missionary Movement. The project is in its second phase, which is referred to as Grow Church. Missionary students from La Universidad de Navajoa, an Adventist school in Mexico, will carry out this mission at La Senda de la Vida, which is the first Spanish church in our conference, planted in 2013 by La Universidad de Montmorelos. Pastor Elgado Beltran, VP of Student Life at La Universidad de Navajoa, who leads a group of students, spoke of the activities planned during their visit. One of the activities we are going to do is a week of conferences. Otra de ellas es una escuela bíblica de vacaciones para los niños y también vamos a fundar el primer club de conquistadores de habla hispana en las Bahamas. Three of the activities that this missionary group will carry out here in the Bahamas is one, an evangelistic campaign in Spanish, number two, a vacation Bible school for children, and the project will culminate with establishing the first Spanish-speaking Pathfinder Club here in the Bahamas. 100 Students Missionary is a program where students from another culture and language travel to another country to do evangelism. The project has three dimensions. They are plant a church, grow a church, expand God's kingdom. Pastor Jamal Franklin, church pastor of La Senda de la Vida, spoke of the 11th student mission team and the mission project. This year, 2017, a group of 11 students from La Universidad de Navajoa, the Adventist Navajoa University from Sonora, Mexico, they have been sent by the Inter-American Division to the South Bahamas Conference to execute the second phase of this church planting project. The first phase was to plant a Spanish church. The second phase is to grow the Sp Spanish church. And they are here this year at the La Senda de la Vida Seventh-day Adventist Spanish Church to grow the church by different community outreach programs, initiatives that will cause the church to grow with Bahamians reaching Hispanics. The district of South Andrews and Mangrove Key welcomed its new pastor to the congregation on Saturday, August 5th. Pastor Leo Roll, Family Island Coordinator of the South Bahamas Conference, facilitated the installation of Pastor Korean Black into the District of Churches. A joint service was held at the New Macedonia Adventist Church in Johnson's Bay, South Andrews, where the members in the small community welcomed the young pastor with open arms. Continue to pray for Pastor Black, along with his wife Carissa, as they begin this new phase of their ministry. With a passion for healthy living and desiring to have the knowledge of how to help others live healthy lives, Leonardo Roll, a 29-year-old vibrant Adventist youth from Exuma, decided to go to the Heartland College, Virginia, in September 2014 to train as a health educator. Leonardo told of his passion. Uh, my, my grandmother, I watched my grandmother suffer and died from um, cancer in 2006, and I don't like to see people suffer. And after accepting the Adventist message, I come to realize that Christ, um, his work was um, healing people and meeting the needs of those who he came in contact with. So, along with that, those two things combined together um, give me desire to help people to live healthy and to try to live a healthy lifestyle myself. On one occasion, while visiting home, he made a presentation on different health issues and natural remedies. It was so well received and encouraged him to do more. Last year after I came home um, on one of my breaks and and I shared some information at church and the response I got from church members um, about different illnesses that they wanted to know how that they can treat um, naturally, um, that helped, helped me to have that desire to bring this um, health seminar home and to share, share what I've learned. 
On July 25th, a series called Health Improvement Seminar started at the Rollville Church, where Leonardo was among the presenters. The meetings, uh, I think they were a great success, and the people received the message, and I still have a lot of people from in the community come to me and ask me, you know, how can we get a copy of this information, or when will you do something like this again, and we've benefited so much, we've learned so much. So um, I think it was very successful and it was well received and, and I'm looking forward to doing something um, probably bigger and better in the future by God's grace. Roll presented his love for health ministries and told of his future aspirations. But uh, my future goal is to come back home to work along with my local church and work in my communities and to take this um, health message that we have to every island of the Bahamas. Um, if possible, and to share this message so that we can um, hasten Christ's on return. When we come back after this break, we will have more on the upcoming events in our conference. It is my heartfelt privilege to invite you to join us for the 8th World Congress for Religious Freedom. Together, we will explore the possibilities and the challenges of building a future where tolerance and respect for human dignity make religious freedom a reality for all people everywhere. I hope to see you there. Welcome back to your Adventist News. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Thanks for watching. Here's what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The youth of our conference are preparing this weekend for the annual Y10 Evangelistic Series to be held from August 12th through 26th. The meetings will be held at the Living Faith Adventist Church on Old Trail Road under the theme Outpour. The speakers include Chaplain Natalie Roberts of Bahamas Academy, Jan Dorset, Ministerial Intern with the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh Adventists, along with youth speakers Stanley Fallord and Anivia Seymour. The Good News Adventist Church is hosting a series of events for back to school. The first takes place this weekend with a career fair and college day to be held on Sunday, August 13th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the church on Great Britain Street in Flamingo Gardens. International universities including Northern Caribbean University, Mandeville, Jamaica, La Universidad de Navajoa, Mexico, University of Southern Caribbean in Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, among others, will be in attendance. Attendees can peruse a variety of booths which provide information in careers on barbering, radiology, law, entrepreneurship, and much more. Listen now for more Good News Back to School events or visit the church's Facebook page at Good News SDA Church Bahamas. The Adventist Health Professionals Association will celebrate its first annual Adventist Health Professionals Week with the theme, I Choose to Live Healthily, on September 17th through 24th, 2017. Lots of exciting events are planned, including a health flow parade, so listen out for more on this. In the month of September, the Children and Adolescents Ministries Department, CHAM, will host a second annual art exhibition for our conference under the theme, The Refreshing. All children and adolescents are asked to start working on their pieces now. The exhibits will be viewed at the South Bahamas Conference Office on Tonic Williams Darling Highway, and all entrants will receive a prize. So listen out for more information on this, or call the CHAM Department at 242 341-4021. And the third annual SBC Prayer Conference and Retreat will be held in Nassau, Bahamas on February 1st through 4th, 2018. Follow the logos and other media for more information on the new location, the payment options, and various amenities for the 2018 program. Often here, health experts say that drinking a glass of warm water with lemon every day early in the morning is good for our health. Here's why. Water is extremely good for your health as it is the best way to keep the body hydrated and it helps flush out harmful toxins. 
Lemon is a good source of many nutrients like calcium, potassium, magnesium, iron, and vitamins A, C, and B complex, as well as pectin fiber, proteins, and carbohydrates. The lemon's citric acid and strong antibacterial, antiviral, and immune-boosting powers also help keep you healthy. According to the Food and Nutrition Board, here are some of the other benefits of this powerful combination. It improves your skin quality by rejuvenating skin and healing the body, supports weight loss, aids in digestion and detoxification, freshens breath, boosts energy and mood, and helps prevent kidney stones. To easily reap the benefits, just squeeze the juice from half a lemon into a glass of purified, lukewarm water. If you want, add a little honey. Drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and wait 30 minutes before eating your breakfast. I am Tanya Nomafo, and this has been your health tips courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We go now to the Adventist News Network for news from around the world. Let's now travel to the Caribbean island of Jamaica, where approximately 200 Rastafarians were given free health services through an Adventist-owned and operated health clinic. The Three Angels Pharmacy provided care to the members of the Rastafarian Naya Bengi, the Ocracy Order located in Clarendon. Rastafarians are part of the Rastafari religious movement, which believes the former king of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie I, is God. The Abrahamic religion began after Raz, or Prince, Tafari Makanan, was crowned king and received his coronated name, Haile Selassie I. Rastafarians believe people of African descent who no longer live in Africa due to colonization and slave trades will be delivered back to the continent. While many Rastafarians practice a strict vegetarian diet, many members of the order are at risk of developing hypertension or diabetes. This led the order to call on Three Angels Pharmacy for their services. The clinic offered screenings for blood pressure, blood sugar levels, and body mass index. Visitors also had the opportunity to receive health counseling. The clinic's owner, Rohan McNelly, said, We did not hesitate to say yes to the request by the group when they called us. Our focus is administering free health checkups to anyone regardless of their class, race, economic, or educational status or religion. Three Angels Pharmacy has been operational since March 2017. It has served 2,000 people through 20 outreach projects in seven of Jamaica's parishes. Well, that's all for this week's Adventist News of the South Palmas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Our production team of Adventist Television Channel 658 would like to thank you for watching and be sure to join us next time. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Have a wonderful Sabbath.